Hello, hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day today, guys. If this is your first time here, let me introduce myself. My name is Dora and this is a Diary of a Greek Mum. Now, what we're doing today is a get ready with me. This is the go-to look that I have when I know that I need to get out of the door relatively quick, I have an appointment and I'm running late, or I have 15, 20 minutes that I need to get ready that Andromeda is napping and she gives me that amount of time in between before she wakes up again. I told you in a previous video, she is a catnapper. But this is my go-to look and if you wanna know what I do, then keep watching. Hello, hello and welcome back to my channel. What I wanna show you today is the routine I use when I know that I need to be out of the house in a hurry i have to get out of the door in a dash like that and i know i'm having an appointment and i'm running late or i know that i have very limited time because i put andromeda to sleep and she's asleep right now and i know that i'm gonna have about 15 to 20 minutes of a window to get ready before i know that i need to either be out of the door or andromeda is going to be awake again and i need to be dealing with her so what i want to show you is what i quickly do when one of these occasions happen now i've already applied my skincare but i want to show you because I'm using two different types of skincare, well, it's not exactly two different types, depending on the foundation I'm going to use on the day, if the foundation contains SPF or not, I will be using a different day cream, so I always start, and that's always the same, never changing, um, ever since I found out about this new line from number 7, and I've picked it up and tried it, I've been in love ever since. I'm going to explain why I'm talking about this line in particular. Ever since I gave birth to Andromeda, I went from a combination skin, I had the very oily tea and normal skin on my cheeks, to very dry. I know that is hormonal and eventually, I have days now that I have a little bit of oily skin sometimes, like I know for today it's not one of these days, but I do have days that I can be a little bit oily depending on the time of the month, but mainly I'm really dry still. Now on top of that, I am highly allergic to pollen, to dust, to a lot of other things. And it is springtime, we're going into summertime, that means for the UK, all of the flowers are in full bloom. That means I'm on my worst time of the year because I suffer really badly. That means I blow my nose quite a lot and I get a lot of dry skin around my nose, on my upper lip, not nice at all. But I have to deal with all of that on top of the fact that I got really dry after giving birth. So when I heard about this new line from number seven, the Hydroluminous one, I really wanted to give it a try. So this is the base that I will use every day, no matter what foundation, no matter what I do, because the water concentrant from number seven, the Hydroluminous uh, line, contains hyaluronic acid. And that's literally what my face needs right now because of the dehydration that is going through. As it says on the back, for best results, you smooth onto your face and neck before applying your moisturizer or add a few drops into your moisturizer. So it depends on what you're doing. I just apply it straight on my face after I know that I've cleaned my face, I've washed my face in the morning and I know that my skin is nice and ready and prepped. I will apply this first. I love the fact that it comes with a pet, so you can choose exactly how much you want to use on the day. So that will be my base any day. Now, after I've used this, I will go and apply my eye cream. And when it comes to eye cream, I've been using this one from La Roche Posay for the last, I'd say, a year now. It's the Hydro Face Intense Zure. It's anti-fatigue, rehydrating concentrate. I absolutely love this. It also has hyaluronic acid in it, which is making it perfect for me as well. And what is making it stand out from the other eye creams that I've used in the past is that it does actually take the fatigue from my eyes. I do look a little bit more rested. I do look better when I put this on. And once this has dried out, then I will go into my cream. Now, like I said at the beginning, if I'm wearing a foundation that contains SPF on the day, then I won't be wearing a cream that contains SPF. So I will choose what cream I'm applying on my face, depending on the foundation I've decided to wear. So what I have applied today is another trusted friend, and again, it is a La Roche Posay. It is the Effaclar Matte. It is SIBO controlling moisturizer, anti-shine, and anti-enlarged pores. It again has hyaluronic acid. It is one of those creams it's not exactly a cream it is a gel 
so I'm gonna put a little bit there for you to see as you can see it is a gel and it does apply clear so you won't be able to see it this has been a good friend of mine for the last couple of years now and it has done an amazing job I do love the La Roche Posay brand it is one of the top French pharmacy brands and it is a brand that my dermatologist has suggested me to get and to use when I was 15 and I had severe acne so it is a brand that I do trust because I've never had any issues with it and actually I had really good results so I would use the Epiclar matte as my base and then I'll go into my foundation coffee anyone when you take a break in between <laughs> said I need coffee I run on coffee this mom can't survive without her coffee now in order to apply my foundation I need the hair out of the way so let's get them off in a bun quick bun in place and glasses off I'll come a little bit closer <laughs> and let's get to it so the foundation I've decided to wear today is one of my favourites because it is the closest that can be to my natural skin tone when I'm not tanned at all. I've tried a lot of different companies and a lot of different brands when it comes to that to colour match my skin and I couldn't do that up until the point that I've tried number 7. I know it is another number 7 product but it does the trick for me. The one I'm gonna be using today is the number seven Beautifully Matte Foundation. It is all day velvet matte perfection. It is oil free, which is perfect for me. And it has SPF 15, hence why, like I said, I've used the La Roche Posay. It is also hypoallergenic, and the color I'm using, the shade I'm using is the Cool Vanilla. And let's go. Okay, so base applied, I will then go with my concealer and my most trusted concealer is the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Now again, I've tried a lot of concealers and I've not found one that I would definitely go to again and again and again. And then I just happened to try this one and it was match made in heaven. This is not the exact colour that I would usually go for. This is the light warm. I have tried the light cool and it does fit better with me but when I went to buy it they didn't have any and I could not be without a concealer so I had to go to the one up I love this Dover applicator it is the easiest way to actually apply so After I've applied my concealer, I will go to my trusted powder in order to set everything and currently I've been loving the Bourjois Healthy Balance. It is again a matte finish but it gives a natural healthy glow. You'll be able to see I've been loving this so much that I've hit pan. So it's not much but you can actually see that I've hit the pan. That's how much I love this one. powder done everything set now we're going into sculpting so when I'm in a hurry I won't actually use a bronzer I won't try to do any sculpting on my face I will just leave this what I will use is a little bit of blush on my cheeks my trusted 
baked blush from Max Factor. That is the cream puff blush on shade 15 seductive pink that's one of my favorites will be the one to use and that'll be like a very light dusting when i have a little bit of extra time and i know that i'm actually doing well with my time then I would apply a little bit of eyeshadow and for this I don't want to go too much and I don't want to spend the time actually creating shapes or doing anything I'll just apply something on my lid and go I will always go back to my bourgeois pot and that's the color edition 24 hours number three it's it is in French it's Petal de Glace I believe I really like the way this applies and I will literally just quickly use a brush So you can't see much right now, but I have applied it. That's how subtle it is. And I really do like the fact that it is subtle and you don't have to do too much. You can just quickly apply. You can apply with a finger as well, but I prefer to use a brush when I'm at home. <laughs> now I will usually do my brows. If I'm in a hurry, I won't care to pencil. I'll just use Gimme Brow from Benefit on number three. And that will be it. But currently, I do have a little bit more time so I will actually pencil my brows now I'm not going to show you how I do it because it can take forever I'm gonna come back right after I've done them eyebrows fills and I forgot to mention the product I'm using to fill them which in this case would be the goof proof brow pencil from benefit in shade 3.5 this is the matching shade for my eyebrows as it is right now and I've been loving it I've been introduced to it about two months ago I know I've been late in this game but hey ho I'm using it right now and it has made a massive difference for me now after I've applied this I will go to my gimme brow benefit again on number three and I'll quickly apply that You want to say hello? Give us a smile then since you woke up. Come on. Give mummy a smile. Give mama a smile. Hello. Smile, smile, smile. <laughs> And the last thing that will put on my eyes is obviously mascara. In this case, I'm using a Kiko. This one is the Luxurious Lashes Maxi Brush Mascara. It's black. It's not the waterproof one. I don't like waterproof mascaras in general because it takes forever to get them off at the end of the day. So I prefer the normal ones. I will only use waterproof when I'm going on holiday and I know that I will potentially, potentially need it. But yeah, generally I use normal mascaras. So I'm going to go on with this. I tend to apply it only once I don't like applying too many times because it can get clumpy and I'm not just talking about this one generally with mascaras I, they can get clumpy sometimes if I apply too much and I want to make the end result looking as natural as possible so once is enough the last thing that's left is applying something on my lips and that will depend on the day on the condition of my lips if I have dehydrated dry lips, then I will go to one of my trusted lip balms. Today though, my lips look fine and they do feel okay and hydrated, which means that I can apply a normal lipstick. And in this case, I wanna show you the two ones that I would normally go to when I'm on a hurry. Not just because I love the colors, but also because they are hydrating as well. So I have the one that I'm gonna be wearing right now, which is the 
zero 010 in a nutshell but I also want to show you the 041 candy apple which is a red that is gorgeous and I would be wearing if I wanted to make this appearance a little bit more professional or I want a little bit more colour on my face today I just want to go for the nude one And this is the finished look. I really do hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you did, then give it a thumbs up. I also would love to have you as part of this community. So if this is your first time here, then hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it. And that way you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. I do upload every Monday and Thursday at 7 p.m. UK time. And every second Saturday, a Greek video at 3 o'clock UK time and 5 p.m. for Greek time. So up until the next video, I hope to see you again really soon. Toodles! So if I'm having dry lips, then I will go with a lip calm. Lip calm? And the last thing that will obviously go on my eyes is mascara. In this case, I am using the Kiko 